I'm sad and disappointed and sad. Let's have a look at the beginner clue. I'm so sad. I'm sad. So I had a beginner clue, easy clue, medium clue, and I did have a hard clue. I had to drop the hard clue because I had to do troll romance, which obviously I can't do. The medium clue, we have to equip this, and this you need to get, you can only get by completing a quest we can't complete, and besides that, I'm not sure if you need attack level to wear the bone dagger. Um, and then we have the easy clue, which we need to equip a coif for, and a coif requires 20 ranged. So I was excited going to do some, some clues, you know, but then, then then it decided to not be like that. So that's not a nice thing. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> okay, literally in clan chat I was just talking about when will I get a new item? Uh, my last item was at 123, now it's at 149. And they said, look, don't forget to dance in front of the chest. I danced in front of the chest and I got myself a Torex player, buddy. That's pretty fucking dope. Right, let's see, can we get a back to back if we dance again? Right, there we go. Oh, <gasps> we can! We just got a fucking back to back. Now that's not a useful item. It's an item I have. I'm quite sure I have a Carol's body. Can't say where I'll be able to equip it because we will never be able to equip it. But that's uh, a good 1.7 mil added to the bank, which is absolutely amazing. Um, Barrow's tab. Wait, don't I have a Carol? I don't have a Carol's body. That's a new item. So we got back to back new items. Yeah. That's well nice, that is. Back to back, the dancing works. It's proven here, you see it, you saw it yourself. You saw it back to back to back to back. Let's see if we can get another one and we go back to back to back, yeah. Okay, we got a back to back. Can we get a back to back to back to back to back? Come dance. Dance, okay good, we're dancing. Nope, no, 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 no. No back to back to back to back to back. You know when it takes you half a year to get a level, but then you still miss it. Well, that's me. We just got level 73 defense. Now you think, <coughs> 73 defense is not special. It's not. It's absolutely not. It just takes me absolute ages because per hit splash, I get, I get 1 XP. So I hit 1, I get 1 XP. You know, that's that's the thing, so it takes a long time to get 73, so I'm well happy with that. It's a good level. Yes, guys, come on. That's fucking amazing. Okay, so I came back. First chest that I'm doing late in the day. I think I've done some battles this morning, but I can't recall. So we got a Ferrex skirt at 183. That's a new item. Now we have three out of four Ferrex items. Uh, all we need is a flail. <laughs> I think that's going to be my first uh, battle set ever completed. And are they my first tanky legs? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. They seem... They are. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, like, obviously, Ferrex does not have the best defense bonus. Now, I'm not sure whether or not Ferrex skirt is the same with defense bonuses as the Pressert, but that's me first tank legs. That's amazing, and we've got pretty much full Ferrex. A lot of prayer bonus if we do need it, so that's honestly pretty fucking amazing. Okay, so we have an issue. The issue is that I was looking at my stats, and I figured... Let's do some runecraft. I mean, runecraft's well low. So I went up to level 41 already from level 40. So that's not much. The issue is that Zeramai is the best way to do this. I mean, I could do cosmics, I guess. But Zeramai is quite, quite good. But the issue is that I don't have the Urania teleport. I cannot get the Urania teleport because I cannot get the lunar spell book. 
I cannot get the Lunar Spell book because I need to do Framnic Trails, which gives XP and like attack and strength and everything. So what I have to do is I run back. That makes this not a viable method of training. Because I can go do two trips, but the second trip at the back, at the end, I have to walk back. And then, at the end, you know, I have to do my run off, take the long path to walk back without dying. As you can see, my run energy is now like 40, so that's, um, it's not going to last. Then, this is not viable, so we ignored this. Then I was thinking maybe we can do the Abyss. Abyss is not viable, because I don't have any glories. Glories are 80 crafted, so I have to get 75. As you all know with me crafting grind before, um, crafting is terrible. I do not have super glass make, so I have to make all the glass by hand in the fur furnace and I get one glass per one bucket of sand, which takes absolute ages. So that's not nice. Blue dragon height apparently is quite disappointing. Now, somebody suggested I do the gem store thieving in Tsar area, but then I need to get a fire cape. Well, I'm absolutely shit at this game, so I'm not going to get a fire cape. I barely managed to get a fire cape in Melanie, so that's not happening. Also, to do that, um, stalls? You need 75. Okay, 75 thieving is viable. We can get that, but that's not okay. Another method I was thinking of, which is a really good one, is the Archaea spellbook has this spell to teleport to your respawn location. What you can do is you can change your respawn location to Edgeville. So rather than needing a glory, I will just teleport with a tab to my respawn. But the issue for that is you need 5 million GP. I have 500k. To get GP for me is a big issue. And then when I have the money, I need it to buy runes. What I can do is maybe sell all the runes I have gotten from Barrows, that means all the death runes, all the chaos runes, all the everything. But then, I'm fucking myself over. I can go cut use at the woodcutting guild for like a month and save the money. But do we all want that? Do we want me to go woodcut for a month? Because like, look, I have these, you can sell that, you can sell this for some money. That's pretty much all I can do. That's that's the only thing I have and otherwise I'm gonna have to run cosmics and uh, yeah not in the mood for that I mean obviously I can just ignore rune crafting and go do some construction or some hunter or something like that you know we can just completely fuck all of this out of the window and be like no we're not doing this we're just gonna do something else um, but one day I need to do this but maybe one day I will have the money one day I will have the glory that's 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 the thing now but um, that, yeah that's just something I'm thinking about like a little stepping stone issue thing that I have to overcome in some way or another besides the fact that this is not viable we're gonna get level 45 no, that's not high but I figured I'd stay here and at least do five levels so it went up from level 40 to level 45. It's not exactly what I was anticipating. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. But at least it's much better than having it 40. Honestly, I'm done here now. I used way too much water runes as well. Way too many. Um, What I might try is I might try and do actual cosmics. Maybe that's a bit better XP. I'm not sure about that though. Otherwise, I will do either no, not construction, because that was too expensive. I looked into construction. Construction is just not viable. I will use all my money to do that. So, probably just some hunter and some more farming, because I did plant trees um, everywhere without having checked their health. So, there should be a lot of farming XP coming up when I do check the, um, the trees, obviously. I guess it's time for a... Uh, farm run, tree run. Thing is that I've got four curry seats which is perfect for a whole trip. Oh I forgot my money. The thing is you need 42 farming to plant them, like to grow them like this. So when I do get the 42 I'll do this and then I'll do the thing and then I'll plant them and I'll get all the XP and then it's going to be a good time. We're not reaching level 44 because apparently I planted apple trees instead of more bananas. But with the two levels, I'm planting curry saplings. That means next time we do a farming trip, we're going to get like 47. 
I think that's doing good. I think we're doing good. The only issue is we're running out of seeds and I need to get a way to get seeds. So I think the best thing to do is Winter Todd? Or did I unlock did I unlock at level forty the farming guild? Forty five. And his city is I have his city's favour, don't I? I do. Okay, so tomorrow when we get 45 we unlock the guild. That means we unlock farming contracts, which means we unlock seeds, pretty much. I think I, th I think that sounds like a good plan.